So we're going to start brainstorming ideas for our soap dispenser. And one of the things that's really important to do before brainstorming is to do research about the environment you're working in. And our clients wanted us to use kitchen utensils in our soap dispenser. So we have here a bunch of different kitchen utensils and maybe we'll be able to get some ideas from them for our soap dispenser. So here we have a circular cheese grater and the thing I wanted to point out to you guys was how it's hand cranked and how that could be a potential motion that the customer uses. They would hand crank it and yeah. then soap would be dispensed into their hand. So we're going to start brainstorming potential solutions for our soap dispenser and we're going to use the writing slip method. So I'm going to throw out an idea and then we're just going to talk about it and any ideas that you have that relate to it or that hitchhike off of it, um, feel free to throw them out and we'll just go from there. Okay. So the first idea we have is to cut the soap. Um, so, so the first thing I think of when I think or see cut it is something like a knife. Okay, um, I'm I feel like you could like just like chop down on it, like a yeah, like yeah. a chopping block kind of thing. And kind of imagine like a uh, soap, and like so like butter and a knife, right? Like mm -hmm. soap on a platter, and you like have a knife and you like cut it. So the user could like push down on like something that's connected to a knife that cuts the soap, and it's a yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Should we write that down? Uh, vertical. So a vertical push. Yeah. I guess if we're going for that type mm -hmm. of motion, um, do you guys know those hard-boiled egg choppers? It's basically oh, a lot yeah. of wires, and you oh. kind of oh, press yeah. down. Oh yeah. Okay. So it kind of like so that. So kind of like a knife. Like a new one. Yeah. Yeah. Before I like write it down as a new one. So we're kind of coming to a standstill. So should we look at our scamper ideas yeah. Um, yeah. and kind of see how we can work with what we have and just kind of build off of that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So is there anything we can, um, I guess, modify? Well, or magnify is one of them. Mm -hmm. So what if instead of just like, I'm going back to the very first idea we have, which was to cut it with a knife. Mm -hmm. What in, if instead of just one knife, like chopping down, what if you had a bunch of knives that like went around it, like like a circle of knives and you just like oh. stuck the soap oh, so in the like middle? A, like, circular like, cheese grater. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like a rotisserie maybe. Like, I know yeah. those are in restaurants mm -hmm. and they're like constantly yeah. spinning. That'd be yeah. kind of cool. Here, I'll write that one down. <laughs> Let's do this one more time. Kind of seems like we're getting a little bit of a snag. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to these. Let's see, can we put it, eliminate something, rearrange it, adapt it? What else I is this like? Adapt. We were talking about how to make something big, smaller, and we were talking about using different mm -hmm. types of kitchen utensils. So I think that what we're kind of like all dancing around is that we're going to adapt some sort of kitchen utensil okay. yeah. for our device. I guess it's just a What's another kitchen device that we could adapt to suit our needs? 